Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming. My name is Mike Cohen from the Suburban Newspaper. Mesdames et Messieurs, bonjour et bienvenue au 7e déjeuner des célébrités sportives de l'âge d'or du Centre Juif Cummings pour personnes années. Mon nom, Charles-André Marchand de CKC Sport. We have many special guests with us today, and now we would like to introduce them. Please pay close attention to their entrance from the back door and on the large screens. And the mascots from the Montreal Impact is Tactic. Tactic is here. From the Montreal Juniors, Snorro. And ladies and gentlemen, formerly of the Expos, now of the Canadians, UP. Today's guest of honor, accompanied by event chairman Michael Wagan and honorary chair Cookie Lazarus, Mark Rutenberg. Gentlemen, we are very fortunate to have with us today the man whose home run call is legendary on RDS from the Journal de Montréal, Roger Brulat. No, he is not parti. He arrives. He will present the formation of the And ladies and gentlemen, Charles and I thought it was only appropriate for the introduction of the Expos, for it to be done by none other than the great Roger Brulat. Well, we need the mascots to move a little bit more to the side so we can see all of our friends from the Expos. Mesdames et Messieurs, merci beaucoup pour l'invitation d'être ici. C'est un grand plaisir. I'd like to thank everybody for the invitation. I think that when we come here, we notice that our heart, the Expos have always been there. And before I introduce the players, I'd like to thank the one very responsible for doing this, without any doubt, Mr. Mark Rutenberg. Mark, one of the owners of the end of Mark, your heart is unbelievable. Thank you so much for having us here today. He was supposed to be my last, but I see him up front, so I better start with him or I'm in trouble. When you talk of leadership, there's only one way you do it, is by example. When you talk of leadership, you do it just another way, by teaching. He taught us how to love baseball. He taught our players how to play baseball. But most of all, he was our pride. The pride of the city of Montreal. Our manager, Nachera Felipe Alou. Throughout the season, you have injuries, but most of all, you have to prepare your players that they're ready. One of the greatest trainers in baseball and part of the Expo's history. Let's welcome our trainer, Ronnie McLean. thing in life is to criticize. The hardest thing is to dare. He dared. We can say whatever we want, but the Expos were gone many years before this man had the courage to find a group and build a team. He had the courage to keep on going. His partners did not believe in his system. Major League Baseball did. Major League Baseball today, because of the 
salary, not cap, but being able to share the money. I think he did a heck of a job. And with the Expos, he did an extraordinary job. Let's welcome Mr. Claude Brushy. someone to build a team. In the field of dreams they say, build it and we will come. And I think he did it. In 1994 as a general manager he did a heck of a job. And Felipe said, one of the best teams he ever saw. And that's because of our architect. L'architect a construit cette équipe de 1994, il a cru. Il a fait des échanges, on est rendu là. Our general manager, let's welcome Kevin Malone. When you talk about relief, I think we had that year 94, the best relief court in the history of baseball. The Ralva Incroyable. Do not break new go to war. They all could have been number one as a reliever. Everyone accepted his role, and that's why they won. One of the greatest relievers in the history of the Expos. Let's welcome Mel Roja. de relevant qui ont établi leur match. On regarde l'histoire des Expos, puis encore aujourd'hui on se dit, est-ce qu'on a déjà eu un meilleur? You go to the history of the Expos, you look at relief pitching. You go to the history, look at the Yankees. Go everywhere. As a pitching coach, outstanding. I still believe in the history of the Expos. He was the number one relief pitcher we ever had. Let's welcome one of the greatest relievers in baseball, Mr. John Wetland. I still remember we were playing against the Braves on an afternoon. A match in the afternoon, Maddox is on the mound. This rookie comes up the bat left-handed. He hits the ball. Oh, does he pull it way in the right field. And I say, Bonsoir, et est parti. What a great player. One of our best, Cliff Floyd. Sometimes you give a player his name and you forget to mention. I always call him the same thing, we laugh. He used to walk in the streets of Montreal. They didn't call him Rondel. Hey, Rondel, Rondel, comment ça va? Because whenever he came up to bat, he used to choose him, Rondel White. I wanted to believe he was a French Canadian player. You know how it is. We were looking for once I found him, found the name. When you think of, again, an outstanding player, injured, didn't bother him. He played. Every game he was out there, he gave us 100%. And to have it with us today, it's an honor. Let's welcome Rondel, Rondel, why? <laughs> His first game at Olympic Stadium. On est au Stade Olympique contre Colorado, où s'en vient Montsquieu. He comes out there and wins. Premier Québécois, c'est comme dans ça, partant. Today, very implicated minor league baseball in this area. I think we can be proud to say that he's one of ours, and he proved that, yes, he could pitch. And I think we look at the Quebecers today, who are in major league baseball. He's one of the responsibles. Why? Because he worked through it, and he worked hard. Contre Colorado, quelle victoire, quelle performance de la Chine. Monsieur Denis Boucher.
What a center fielder. In perfect game, he catches the ball. Gets Pittsburgh, Olympic Stadium. Tenth inning, pow, over the field for a home run. When you think about center fielders in the history of baseball, he has to be considered amongst the ten best. And we have him. And a gentleman. Le petit jeu de sang, Marky Sparky Grissa. The Expos this year had the pleasure of having Andre Dawson, homegrown, part of the Hall of Fame. We're lucky. When he joined the Expos, they said, I still remember that day, two guys showed up. Wetland shows up, this next pitcher shows up. They're saying, wow, what a trade, but who are they? And today, they're one of the best, the relievers, one of the best in baseball. When I look at a pitching stat, there's only one that interests me very much, the number of losses. It's easy to win, but it's even easier to lose. But to lose less than 10 games a year, you look at his career, number 10 does not exist. Only when he was injured at the end of his career. When he was there, healthy, it was always 10 minus, minus two, minus three, eight losses, seven losses. And he won a Cy Young. He won a Cy Young, won a World Series. And today, he's knocking at the Hall of Fame. And I hope the door opens big because he deserves to be there. One of the best right-handed pitchers in the history of baseball are Pedro Martinez! Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, les Expos 1994, our 1994 Montreal Expos. Mais avant de partir, Roger, tu dois nous refaire ta phrase signature. Grif Floyd est au bâton. Fin de neuvième manche. No. Two retraits, trois balles, deux brises. I know two ways. He wants to do a home run call. We've got too many pitchers. <laughs> I, know, I had a tendency to be excited, I think. And people say, why did you broadcast standing up? Because I couldn't see sitting down. <laughs> the bases are loaded. Our pitcher's up there. Bottom of the ninth. Three balls, two strikes. Le lance, the pitch. What a strikeout. <laughs> and that's why I always watch the games on RDS, not TSN, ladies and gentlemen. Now, he ran the Grand Slam Baseball School and pitched batting practice for the Expos and visiting teams. Please welcome Johnny Hellius. Tribute to the Expos went totally viral, and you'll see it all soon on the big screen. Rapper extraordinaire, Anakin Slade. The longtime president of the trailing national hockey team, Alan Maislin. Et maintenant, accueillons le coach, the coach, and now Canadian senator, mon ami Jacques Demers. Ladies and gentlemen, the 
former World Boxing Organization Super Middleweight Champion, Otis Magic Grant. Anciennement des Alouettes de Montréal, mon complice, Bruno Eppel. An RBC sponsor, Paralympic athlete from the Canadian Sledge Hockey Team, goalie Benoit saint amand Du junior de Montréal, le propriétaire Farrell Miller et new team president and former Quebec Major Junior Hockey League player Sébastien Courcel. Now entering the room for the Montreal Juniors, their bus leaves to Halifax. Head coach Pascal Vincent, Montreal Canadiens draft pick Louis LeBlanc, Canadiens property Philip Lefebvre, and Los Angeles Kings draft choice J.F. Berube. We'll ask the juniors to come join us at the front, please. From the Grey Cup champion Montreal Alouettes, Scott Flory and newly appointed president Ray Lalonde. Gentlemen, she was one of the best professional female golfers to ever come out of Quebec. The only Canadian female to ever win an LPGA tournament now with Golf Canada and here to promote this summer's LPGA at Hillsdale, Jocelyn Bourassa. Montreal Impact, all-star defender, a proud graduate of Herzliya. He retired two weeks ago and is now in the team's head office, Adam Braz. From the media, we've got lots of media here from the Montreal Gazette, sports editor Stu Cowan, football, boxing reporter, and committee member, a proud member of the Jewish community, Herb Zerkowski. A broadcaster and sports writer that seems I've known all my life. For more than 50 years he's been in the business, the great Larry Fredericks. Oh. From CJD Sports. Canadians and Alouettes play-by-play -play man, Rick Moffat, and the man who never sleeps, Abe Hefner. Where's Abe? From CTV Sports, André Corbeil. From the Team 990, his program is on tonight at 6 o'clock, game points. A nice Jewish boy from Cote St. Luke, Matthew Ross. From K103FM and CDV Sports, Paul Grave. <laughs>